Points in between. A little more challenging this year. No neutral site double headers. Top seeds getting the chance to host first round action. Most of those at high noon. That includes Shawnee hosting the postseason. Nothing new for the Indians as they have played host to D3 and D4 sectionals in recent years. But the Tribe a chance to play a postseason home game against Elida. These two teams were supposed to resume their WBL matchup last night. That falls game that was halted by lightning. But wet conditions postponed last night's game. So here we go. Scoreless in the third because of great defense. The Tribe's Trevor Anderson takes this one. And fires to first, keeping zeros on the board. Bottom three now. Mad Max stand after his night racing at Lima Land. No trouble there for the shortstop as he scoops and fires. Then the lefty Adam Purdy. Purdy looking K here, keeping Shawnee off the bases. Top four Purdy trying to help his own cause. Drops the single into left field. And then it's Stambaugh. Skying it into no man's land. It falls. Jake Sevitz fires the second to get the lead runner. Run start coming in the fifth. Elida beats the higher seeded Shawnee Indians. Six to one. Nice win for Todd Grappner's club. So your brackets look like this. Feeding the Bluffton District. Elida will visit top seeded St. Mary's Thursday. Bath hosts Kenton. Wapakoneta home for Fostoria one today. Salina making the long trip to Tiffin, Columbia. We have